Barney, where the heck is the weed? You said you would deliver it three days ago and you still haven't. I already sent you the money. What the frick man? Sorry Boris, the door lock system on my car has been crapping out lately and I wasn't able to unlock it to drive over to you. The good news is that it decided to work today and I'm on my way over now. Good. What was that? Door open. Door open. Crap. The weed just fell out of the car. What? Like I think that bag fell out of the car that just went by. Guess I'll take it inside and see what's in it. What's that Shaggy? Like I don't know, it just happened to fall out of a car that was passing by. Shaggy, what on earth are you doing back inside? There was no way you finished mowing the lawn in 5 minutes. Like chill man, I just saw this bag fall out of a passing car and I want to see what's inside. Wait, really? I'll see too. I call dibs if it's a bunch of beer. Like fair enough. God dang it. I was really hoping it would be beer. Um, what is this exactly? Yeah, what the heck is this? Are you actually serious? How can you not know what this is? Guess all those memes about you guys being stoners were false. What is a stoner? Someone who's always smoking this stuff. This is weed, and it's a stupid drug that's supposed to make you relaxed or some crap. I would advise you destroy it because it's illegal where we live, and I don't want the cops to freaking raid my house. Wait, so you're saying I can get hot off this stuff? What do you think a drug is? I'm still dumbfounded you guys have never heard of this stuff until now. We should smoke it, Shag. No, you shouldn't. You're going to get us arrested. Crap, I hope that's not the cops. Excuse me, sir. Did you happen to pick up a grey duffel back? It fell out of my car while I was driving right around here, but I can't seem to find it. Like, no man, I didn't pick up your weed. Wait. How do you know it's weed? You must have it. Give it back to me right now. Okay if I admit, I do have it, but it's like too good of a fine to give away. You know, I was already thinking about getting high off it later. Dude, it's my weed. If you don't give it back, you're stealing. Like it's illegal to even have weed in the first place though. Exactly, which is why if you don't give it back, I'm going to call the cops on you and frame you as if you had it all along. Shaggy, just give him his freaking weed. Oh, alright dude. I'll give you the weed back. Just let me put the lawnmower away first. Thank you. A few moments later. Like here your man. Enjoy your weed. Here's your weed Boris. It's about freaking time. These are grass clippings you piece of shit. Wait, what? Shut up. You won't get away with trying to scare me like this. Man Scoop, like this is epic. I'm so glad I had the bright idea to give the dinosaur back grass clippings instead of weed so we could keep the weed and get high. Yeah, this is so freaking awesome. I wish we had discovered this stuff sooner. Number 7. Student watches porn and gets naked. Oh my god, something's on fire. I have to get out before the house burns down. Guys. What on earth happened? I don't know. I was just watching YouTube in my room when all of a sudden a bunch of smoke poured in. I'm not sure what happened either, but judging by all the smoke, the house is starting to burn. We need to go in and rescue Shaggy and Scooby before it's too late. Like what's up guys? Sorry, the smoke isn't a house fire. It's just me and Scoob having an epic week smoking session. You all should come join. Are you? Freaking, serious. I told you not to smoke that stuff. Also, I thought you gave it back to Barney when he came to get it. How the frick do you have any left to smoke? Like I just took some grass clippings out of the lawnmower and filled his devil bag with that in place of the weed. Wow. Just wow. Now he probably really is going to call the cops on us like he threatened. We're in some deep shit now thanks to you. Like it'll be fine man, just chill out. Chill out? No, I seriously can't believe that you guys did this. And since there's already smoke everywhere, I may as well have you guys go back inside and smoke every last bit of that weed to destroy the evidence. Get smoking now or it's concussion time. Like fine boss. 
like Scoob, is it just me or is the McDonald's just not as good now that we've had the epic experience of being stoned? No, I agree with you. Maybe we can get some more weed from Barney. Like good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Like hey Fred, what do you want? Like can we take your van to go get more weed from Barney? <laughs> good one. Like we're serious bro. No you're not. There's no way a person can be that dumb. Like I guess we are the dumb then. Look man, we just want more weed because it was freaking awesome and the McDonald's just isn't cutting it by itself anymore. Like weed is truly what has been missing from our lives. What's so bad about letting us drive over to Barney's and pick some more up? You have got to be kidding me. First of all, he will beat your ass because you stole all of his weed the first time. And second of all, if you can recall in your tiny brain what I said earlier, weed is illegal. Is there anywhere where it isn't illegal though? No there isn't. Now shut up and let me get wasted so I can forget about the brain cells I just lost talking to you absolute idiots. You know Fred, there actually are places where weed is legal. You think I didn't know that? I just don't want my van to be gone for an indefinite period of time while they're off in another state getting stoned. Like why would we go to another state? Oh, it's nothing. Because weed is legal in some states. And Fred was lying to you when he said it was illegal everywhere because he didn't want you to take his van. Oh my god, Velma, 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 you are a freaking piece of crap. What, can't they just get an Uber or fly out? Maybe. Shaggy, how much money do you have? Like we were kind of hoping we could use your money. I knew it, I freaking knew it. You piece of crap freeloaders just think it's okay to use my money for everything. And it doesn't even matter if I say no because you'll find a way to steal it. Gray on the Like yeah, that's pretty much it. Hey hey, what's with all this yelling in here? I'm trying to make a TikTok. Die. Fred is losing it right now because he thinks Shaggy and Scooby are going to use his money to go to another state so they can get stoned. It's not thinks, they 100% are going to. Were you listening when Shaggy confirmed it himself? Also, let's not forget the cost of the actual weed on top of the traveling. Speaking of traveling, which states actually legalize weed? Not telling. I know New York does for sure. Like me and Scoob are going to New York then. OMG OMG OMG. I still love New York City. Can you guys go there and take me with you? Like sure. New York City sounds cool. Can I join? Like I don't see why not. You don't see why not? Well consider this, it'll be my money due to the fact that none of you idiots have any income, and you'll be completely draining my wallet on something I don't give a crap about. So what? Oh my god, I can't anymore. It's fine Fred, I just bought an NFT this morning that looks really promising, so I'll use that money to pay you back. Shut up. I'm not playing your stupid NFT gambling game. I thought that market crashed anyway. Jesus H Christ people, why can't you just accept that I don't want to fund your stupid weed trip to NYC and move on? Honestly dude, why would we? Like you mentioned, even if you say no, we'll just use Velma's hacking skills to steal all your money out of your bank account. Okay, fine, I give up on everything. Just freaking take my money and go to New York City. Leave, be gone. Get out of my sight right now or you're all going to get concussions. Oh my god. Oh my sweet freaking wonderful god. I have had it. All the comments on these videos say, Oh, Fred deserves a concussion. Fred should be in jail. I hate Fred. Why is Fred so mean? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because I have to deal with this crap all the time. I honestly just can't freaking take it anymore. Um, like why are there three pedals on this thing? Oh, that's right. This van is a stick shift. Like I have no ideas how to drive a stick shift. Me neither. Daphne, you know how, right? I think you've stolen this van from Fred before. I have but I just barely managed to get it to go in one gear to drive around town. I'm definitely not good enough at driving it to go on a road trip to New York. Scooby, how about you? I'm a dog. Oh. Like I guess I'll just interrupt Fred's mental breakdown and see if he'll agree to drive us. After all, he's already said screw it on the money. Good luck not getting a concussion. <laughs> Like hey Fred, turns out your van has this weird third pedal and none of us can drive it. Can you drive us to New York City instead? <laughs>
Sure, Shaggy, I'll drive you. Sweet, like thanks so much. What's up, idiots? Are you ready to get driven to New York City? That's why we're in the van, Fred. Awesome. Let's go. Because I want to freaking die. What? I have my foot to the floor on the accelerator right now and I'm not going to take it off for the entire drive. Pure luck will determine if we T-bone another vehicle at an intersection and get sent into our graves. Or maybe we'll hit a tree on a sudden turn. The possibilities are endless. One thing's for sure though, we just hit 100 miles per hour. And the Cintiq gun has no airbags or seat belts. Meaning we'll all certainly die if we hit anything. Fred, like you don't have to do this man. No way am I letting you do this Fred. Hey, let go of me. You're going to make us crash. As if that wasn't already your intention to begin with. Oh, 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 how dare you shove me back here. I won't let you get away with this. Please restrain him, guys. We're on it. Many unbearable hours later. So, Fred, you're telling the truth about having calmed down now, right? For the millionth time, Velma, yes. But if you don't shut up, then I really am going to crash this van and kill us all. I wish I was better at driving this van so our lives wouldn't have to be at the mercy of this psycho. Daphne, I heard that. Jeez, why am I still even driving you ungrateful pieces of crap to New York City? Because we offered to pull together what little funds we have to buy you some gourmet craft beer. I swear, that beer better be good. Like it's so freaking hot in here. Fred, like didn't you say you were going to have an air conditioning system installed in this thing? Oh why yes, yes I did. Maybe if certain people weren't always spending my money on crap, I could actually afford to do that. Like whatever, it's still hotter in here than I can take. I agree. I can hardly breathe at this point. Yeah, same here. I feel like I'm going to have a heat stroke for Frick's sake. There's got to be a way to cool it down in here. Can we just open some more windows? All the ones that are able to be opened have been opened already, including Fred's windows up front. Like how about we just stop at a gas station or something so we can cool off in the store? You're lucky we're low on gas. Man, it sure feels good to be out of that oven of a van. Like is the dry ice? No, I think it says something else on the freezer. Like curry guys thinking what I'm thinking. We buy a bunch of dry ice and fill the van with it to cool us all off. Great idea. Um, no, I'm not sure it's such a good idea. For one thing, we'd be buying it with Fred's money since we need to save our money for the beer. Also, dry ice emits carbon dioxide gas as it melts, which could be very harmful to our health and make us pass out or even die. Nah, I'm on Shaggy's side. Honestly, Velma. It's so hot in the van that I feel like we have just as much of a chance of dying from a heat stroke, and I'd much rather be cool. Yeah, and about the Fred's money part, if he starts to lose it again we can just remind him of the beer we're going to buy him and he'll chill out because he's so addicted to it. Come on, let's go into the store and buy some dry ice. What a horrible idea. This is literally going to be the death of us. <laughs> Why does gas have to be so expensive nowadays? I'm going to have to find some alternative fuel to run this thing off of. What the heck is taking them so long? I thought they were just going into the store to cool off. Like what's up man? We got some dry ice to cool it off in here. Are you stupid? Sure, it'll cool it off, but the CO2 from that stuff will make us all pass out. I'm sorry Fred. I tried to stop them. And wait a second, whose money did you buy that stuff with? Like it was your money, but we had to do that so we would still have money to buy you that craft beer once we got to NYC. You didn't have to buy the dry ice to begin with. Although, in this unique circumstance, I'm actually relieved you spent my money instead of yours so I'll still get my beer for free. Well then, let's get going. We are probably going to die from that dry ice but I honestly don't even give a crap anymore. Hallelujah. I can see New York City off in the distance. But man, is this dry ice making me tired or what? Fred, this is bad. Shaggy and Daphne just passed out. We need to pull over before this gets worse. 
Fred, now Velma's out too. This dry ice was a bad idea bro, we've got to pull over and get rid of it fast. Fred, are you hearing me? What did you s- Oh my god. No 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 no. I have to go up there and stop- So, any other tips for working here? Well, if there's one thing I've learned after 21 years, it's that you never know what is gonna come through that door. You really aren't kidding. We're in the absolute heck are we, and why are we laying on the ground? Does anyone know what happened? Like it would appear we somehow crashed into a building, nearly broke through the other side, and went flying through the windshield. That's because everyone fell asleep from the dry ice including Fred, and his foot just so happened to pin the gas pedal all the way down. We were freaking flying down the interstate with everyone asleep except me, and before I could run up and stop the van, I blacked out too. We must have hit that building at over 100 miles an hour. Ho, Lee, crap. How are we even alive? Well guys, look what the dry ice did. I tried to tell you it was a bad idea. How do you know we wouldn't be dead from a heat stroke otherwise? Are you serious? Well, I can stand up fine. Can you guys? Yeah, it looks like we all can. And hey, it looks like we're in New York. I see the Statue of Liberty over there. Really? Sweet. Let's go get my beer then. I'm going to go see if the van still drives so we can get over to the liquor store. What? I'm not paying the stupid damages. This is my idiot gang member's fault, not mine. And how dare you not even ask if we're okay? Yeah, whatever. Frick off. Just let me move this rubble to see how screwed up my van is. Crap. It's totally mangled and there's a rock through the radiator. Well, guess we're not going to be able to use the vent anymore. Well, in that case, why don't I go rent us a car? Huh. I wonder why Daphne would be specifically wanting to rent a car rather than just get around by taxis or ride sharing services. Could it be to prank me with yet another embarrassing car? No, I just don't want to go through the trouble of flagging down a taxi or waiting for an Uber every time we want to go somewhere. Seriously. I've done the prank so many times that it wouldn't even be funny anymore. Like yeah, I don't think she'd do it again Fred. And I'd like much rather we have our own car to drive around in. Same here, and it might even be cheaper. Ugh, fine. I guess it's true that the prank has to be over at this point. Alright Daphne, just go. We'll be waiting somewhere near here. Okay. Alright guys, I got us a car. Wow, could you have taken any longer? Oh, come on. There was a long line. Whatever. Just take us to it already. Fine. Well, it's just over here, guys. Daphne, 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 Daphne. I can't freaking believe you did it again. You know what? That's it. I'm not going to take the scrap anymore. I see a sledgehammer laying over there, so I'm going to completely destroy this pink piece of crap until there's no possible way it can be driven. Then, we'll just have to rent a normal car. Great. Wait, Fred, stop. There. How do you like your pink car now? That wasn't the car I rented. Our rental car is at one over there. You just destroyed a random person's car. I can't believe this. Oh crap, everybody run to the real rental car. Fred, I seriously can't believe you destroyed a random car that probably isn't a rental. For frick's sake Velma, Daphne said she rented us a car, and lo and behold, there was a pink and purple car where she said it was. If this is anyone's fault, 
Then it's Daphne's for conditioning me with her stupid pranks. No, it isn't. It's your fault for being a psycho with anger issues. Like, guys, can we please stop fighting and actually figure out where we're going? Well, I figure we'll just drive around until we see a hotel, check in, and then do whatever. I doubt that idiot who owns the pink car will even find out who destroyed it. Like, okay. This room was so expensive. What a a a a a a a a a a a a a It's so nice in here that I need to take a selfie and post it on Instagram. Hashtag just blew tons of Fred's money to get a five-star hotel in NYC. That reminds me, I'm only doing this for the gourmet craft beer you idiots agreed to buy me. Why don't we go pick it up now? I don't know. Now that you've lost it and vandalized someone's car, I'm thinking maybe we should cancel that. Hey. Give me back my phone. OMG Fred, stop holding it out of the window. Let's see Daphne, what will you do? Will you agree to stick to the original plan of buying me the beer and get your phone back? Or will you keep wanting to cancel it, causing me to drop your phone out the window and onto the concrete five stories below? It's your choice. Okay, okay, jeez. I'll help buy you the beer after all. Good. Like here's my money Fred. Apparently there's a weed store right over there, so me and Scoober gonna go buy some. Alright Shaggy. Man, this is some good beer. Fred, you might want to stop drinking now. You've already had two full bottles. Shut up Velma. I'll drink all the god dang beer I want. Now leave me alone. Like this is some epic big scoop. I know. I'm so glad we came to New York for this. Shaggy and Scooby, what on earth are you doing? Like we're just smoking the weed man. What's the problem? The problem is that the entire hotel room smells like weed. And the smoke is starting to get everywhere too. I thought you were going to smoke the weed outside. Seriously, I don't want to get a second hand high from you idiots blazing it in the hotel room. As if you aren't already drunk AF. Shut up Scooby. Like alright man, we're almost through all the weed anyway, so we can stop. Okay. But that doesn't change the fact that the entire hotel room is Reed City. Honestly, yeah. I don't want to be around all this marijuana smoke either. How about we all leave the hotel and do something? There's a huge museum here that I want to check out. A museum? That sounds boring as hell. I'd rather stay here and keep inhaling all the smoke. Wait, a museum? I'd so love to go to one of those. I bet there's going to be tons of beautiful artwork and valuable items I can brag about having seen on social media. Like yeah, a museum sounds dope. I agree. Well Fred, sounds like you're outnumbered. God dang it. Alright, fine. We'll go to this idiotic museum. Oh, and one more thing. I'll drive us there because you're so drunk. Okay, whatever. Wow, these paintings are amazing. Wow, I'm so freaking bored. Oh, come on, friend. Don't kill the vibes here with your stupid negativity. Shut up, Daphne. I'm going to be as negative as I want because I don't want to be here. Why don't you idiots just leave me alone and look at your stupid artwork on your own? Okay, we'll do that then. What an insufferable piece of crap. Well, since I have nothing else to do, I might as well walk around and see if there's anything remotely interesting. What the heck was that? 
It sounded like it came from over there. Oh, my, freaking, God! Was there a hallucinogen in that bear? Do my eyes deceive me? Or did this really happen? Um, uh, well... She tried to climb up onto the stand and take a selfie next to the statue. I told her not to, but she didn't listen. Oh no. What happened here? Apparently, my idiot gang member climbed up onto the stand to take a selfie and it went horribly wrong. Well, someone is going to have to pay for the repairs this statue now needs. Well guys, I vote Daphne. She's the one who knocked it over after all. Well, guess what? I don't have any money because I spent it all on your stupid bear. Yeah, and I doubt it would be enough to fix the statue anyway. Well, in that case, Shaggy, Velma, are one or both of you okay with paying? Quit being in denial, Fred. You know dang well we spent all our funds on the beer too. The only person who is able to pay is you. Um, sir, how much are we talking here? At minimum, it would cost $20,000 to fix it. But realistically, we'd be looking at 30 or 40. Alfred, no, I'm not paying that. Everybody run. Hey, get back here. You know what? This just isn't right. I felt bad about fleeing the scene of the destroyed car, and I'm not going to let us do it again. We're going to stay here and face the consequences because that's what's right. Velma, are you freaking serious right now? What's right about me having to pay an insane amount of money for something that was all Daphne's fault? The museum getting paid for the repairs, that's what. Oh come on, I'm sure they're already rich as crap and can fork over 30 or 40,000 to fix their stupid Egyptian statue. Now please, drive, off. No. Do it now or it's concussion time. You can't scare me with your stupid concussion threats. Hey, let go of me. Let me drive. Get out of the driver's seat. No. Oh my god. Velma, are you okay? I'm fine. Fred, you cannot be driving right now. You're drunk. No, I'm not. Daphne shocked the drunkness out of me when she destroyed the statue. It doesn't work that way. I demand you pull over before you get us all killed. Well, I demand you shut up. Where are we going right now, Fred? Where do you think? Back to the hotel. Hey, I just got an idea. How about instead of going back to the hotel, we head over to Broadway and see a musical. I think there's lots of shows around this time of day. I hate musicals. There is no way in hell we are going- Nice going, Fred. You just crashed the car into a lamppost. Oh, really? Wow, I didn't know that. And this is why you don't drive drunk, honestly. We're lucky this little crash is all that happened. According to my calculations, we had a 75.21439843988% chance of dying. Shut up, Velma. I don't care about your stupid calculations. So like what are we gonna do about this situation? Well, I don't have insurance, so we're just gonna take off. Ugh, I'm not even going to try anymore. OMG, no way. Broadway is right here. We so need to go see a show right now. No, we don't, Daphne. I'm not about to waste several hours of my life sitting through a stupid musical. But I like really want to see a show, though. Why don't we see a show that's not a musical so everyone's happy? That's still almost as bad. Yeah, and it has to be a musical for me or I won't be entertained at all. Velma, would you yourself want to go to one? Honestly, yeah. It sounds pretty fun. I want to go see one, too. Well, Fred. It looks like you've been outnumbered once again. Literally everyone wants to go see a musical except you, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. You're just gonna have to deal with it is my line, Daphne. And okay, fine, we'll go to one of these idiotic musicals. Seriously, you oppose the museum and now this. Is your idea of a good time just staying in the hotel and drinking beer all day? Yes. <laughs> Man, man.
this is so freaking boring. When are we going to get out of here? Hey, blonde haired guy in the white shirt. Yes. What do you want? I just saw security camera footage of you and your dumb friends destroying my brand new pink car. Whoa, whoa. Oh, like for the record, it was just him. We tried to stop him from destroying it, but he like didn't listen. Wow, way to throw me under the bus, Shaggy. I don't care. I'm still going to beat the absolute crap out of every single one of you to teach you punks a lesson. I really don't feel like fighting right now. Hey, get back here right now. Go on. O-M-G. I can't believe this is happening right now. Nice job, Fred. Shut up, Daphne. Don't act like you didn't destroy an expensive statue just a little bit ago. Fred, I can't believe you didn't think there would be security cameras. They're everywhere nowadays. And I can't believe you're yelling at me for this when you fled the scene like the rest of us. Also, how was I supposed to know there were cameras? I'm not a stupid tech nerd like you. You don't have to be a tech nerd to know that. Like guys, there's a dock up ahead with bolts tied to it. Like maybe we could steal one and escape back to Go City. That's actually a really good idea, Shaggy. Let's do it. Well, crap. I probably should have figured out how to stop the boat before we came up on the dock. Oh, 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 oh. Shaggy, how dare you break the TV? If I wasn't in such excruciating pain right now, I would so be giving you a concussion. Ha ha, I'm not in pain because I landed on the couch, and you had already broken a hole through the roof for me. No one cares.